What's going on guys, welcome to the video. So, a uh, little new setting. I'm up at my new place in Hartford, Connecticut. We are about a week, maybe a little bit over a week into preseason right now with Hartford Athletic. Things are going really well. It's been a tough preseason, but it's been really fun because we've just been playing a ton, getting to know each other's you know tendencies on the field and just a ton of training, fitness, work. So, um, yeah, I'm happy. Um, today is not a double day. We don't have two training sessions, but we have one training session in the morning and then we have a gym workout in the afternoon. So I'll take you guys along just to show you what that looks like. But uh, it's pretty pretty standard what you'd get at, at most clubs. I also want to show you our home. We're just renting this house, but uh, I do want to show you it. It's a mess though. We have a lot of work to do and it's been a very slow process just because with preseason and double days and everything starting up with the club and then with the new board baby Scarlet and then with just trying to unpack and move into a full, you know, 13 hour move from Charleston up to Hartford, it's just been been crazy. So we've been unpacking like an hour each day, just very slowly, but it's slowly starting to come together. Um, but I'll still, you know, I'll, I'll show you guys even if it is crazy right now and then disaster. But anyway, we make some breakfast at seven o'clock in the morning. The team does give us breakfast at the facilities, but I just like to have my typical eggs and coffee in the morning before I then go over there and have the bagels and whatever they give us there. So I'm gonna make some breakfast and then I'm gonna leave here in about 45 minutes. I can't fly. Before we get into this vlog, I want to take a quick second to thank the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. It makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-proportioned ingredients and seasonal recipes shipped straight to your doorstep. Their latest line of meals are filling and they're delicious. And with all the ingredients already pre-proportioned out, they take less than 15 minutes to prepare. And with HelloFresh, you guys can save your money all year round because HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. My favorite part about HelloFresh is just how fresh everything is. All the ingredients come from the farm to you in less than seven days. Last night, I made Tostado Supremas and it was absolutely delicious. I highly recommend trying that out and trying HelloFresh out in general. If you guys are interested, click the link in my description for 21 free meals plus free shipping and try out HelloFresh today. Coffee art today, I am seeing a elephant. For breakfast today, we have an orange, a handful of blueberries, three eggs over medium with some mushrooms, and then the latte with the elephant coffee art. So I'm gonna eat this, chill for a bit, have my coffee, and then I'm gonna head out to the uh, facilities. And today, for the, the facilities that we're going to are not ours, we're not going to our stadium, uh, just because our stadium, I guess, has cork turf beads or whatever with the field, and I guess that freezes. So whenever it's winter time and it's freezing every single night, uh, it's just not safe or it's not good for us to train at that field. So we're going to uh, facilities that we're renting out right now. It's like an academy team here in Connecticut. So we go to their facilities. It's, it's pretty nice. It's got a good locker room, showers, place to eat, place to watch video. So uh, it's decent and the fields are good too. They're turf, but they're, you know, they're still pretty good turf fields. So, so that's where we'll be heading today. Here's a little sneak peek of the house too. Like I said, don't judge me because it's a disaster. You can still see boxes. That's a crib that we actually need to unbox and get all set up for Scarlet. But uh, this is the living room right now. Here's a little dining area. We have two tables. We have another table over there. Kitchen back there. Bathroom, garage, laundry room all over there. Then we have like a dining room over here. Stairs going upstairs. Then we have a few bedrooms upstairs. So pretty nice. There's the backyard. Oh, 
One. And let's go back into our line. You can switch sides so you go the other direction this time. Get around the phone. A little quicker here. A little longer. A little longer. Get all the way out. Uh, anything you need on the way back? Take it back, anything you might need. One more, last one. Come on, throw it on out. Good. Come on, take the owl. Come on, son. Have a sip of water. Training Kembo. Good man. It was good. It was, a, it was a hot day. Nice day. Hot. It was 48 degrees outside. But when you're when it's 30, this is nice. It's coming from cold, so this is nice, man. Yeah, today was nice. <laughs> so, what's going on? <laughs> Just broke everyone's neck. Look, 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 everyone, 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 look at everyone's neck. Okay, it's like 1.50 in the afternoon right now. We just got to our gym. We're gonna do our team workout right now. Uh, we've already done one of these so far. It's been really good. Just kind of like a more of an upper body. The last one was, so I'm guessing this one will be more of a lower body, but my legs and I think a lot of the other guys' legs are just dead right now. But, uh, you know, that's just uh, preseason. So let's do it. <laughs> Oh, y'all already know, man. Yo, it's two time. <laughs> All right, just finished up the workout. It is 3:15 in the afternoon, so pretty long day. Two uh, two workouts one day, but feeling good. Body's feeling good. Just tired, fatigued. 
Um, anyway, I got like a 30 minute drive back home and then I'll be done. Then we got an off day tomorrow, which I'm very, very much looking forward to because it's been a long last like week or so and my body is, is screaming. But after the workout though, it's so nice in there. Um, we're able to get like a, uh, you know, you can go in the hot tub if you want, go in the pool for some recovery. There's a sauna, steam room, showers, cold showers, whatever you need. So I did a sauna and then a cold shower afterwards. I'm feeling really good. So hopefully if I wake up tomorrow and I'm, I'm feeling good as well. So yeah, good day. Good day today. I'm back home, hit some traffic on the way home. So I didn't get home to about 410. What's crazy. I always think about is like today is a longer day, a more strenuous day. And I still get home before like a nine to five. Like it's still, it's just so nice. Like, barely. Yeah, barely. But I mean, this is like one of the longer, tougher days. I mean, sometimes we, I think the latest I've ever get back is probably like four or five o'clock. So not bad. Um, just chilling here with a little, little Scarlet. She just fed. So she's tired. She's super cute. She's like three and a half weeks right now. So she uh, is just saying her first couple words. She's already said dada. She's already walking. It is such a beautiful day though. I think Mimi and I are gonna sit outside for a little bit because Mimi has been stuck inside for the last three and a half weeks. I have not seen our backyard yet. Yeah, and we finally have one warm day. Today's like 55 degrees. So this is warm in Connecticut. So we're gonna try to enjoy it a little bit before the temperature drops back down into the freezing temperature range again. So let's sit outside. Here's a little bit of our backyard. We decided to live a little bit further away from uh, everything. But by living a little bit further away, that means we got a uh, you know, a little cheaper price. We got a little bit more privacy, a little bit quieter, bigger backyard, all that kind of stuff. So I'm fine. I'm fine driving like 30 minutes into the facilities or into the city or whatever for a little bit more space. One thing that I am a little nervous for is that in three or four days, we're leaving for Florida for like a preseason trip, which I'm stoked about to go down to Florida and train and, and beautiful weather and, and bond with the team and everything. But I am a little nervous like leaving Mimi and Scarlett just here. But I'm really happy because your parents are coming in two days on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So your mom and dad are coming in. They're going to be here with Mimi and Scarlett. But You are going to miss one fourth of her life. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm actually like sometimes even at training, like or at lunch, like I'll be like looking at pictures of Scarlet that you Aww. sent, and I love it. But like I'm gone from there. For I forget. Three, I need to send you more. I, I forget. To I do know. That, I know. I'm out here grinding. I sent you one today. Busted my butt. I know. I loved it. But yeah, ten days is gonna be hard being away from her. Yeah. But I'll be back. So one thing that I'm really excited about this house is that we have a formal dining room and not for the fact that it's a formal dining room, but I'm actually gonna turn it into a little podcast studio slash where I film like my, my YouTube videos. No, so. tell them what you call it. Shelly's room, banana, what do I call it? Bonanza. Shelly's studio bonanza. Shelly's studio bonanza. <laughs> <laughs> so come in, um, we're starting to get all the stuff prepared with it. We got the lights over here and everything. Still have to work out some shelving or something, but we got two chairs. Hopefully get the podcast mics up here and everything. But I think just sitting down, talking. Let me turn on the light for you guys so you can get the full effect. And we have this light coming in over here. We gotta, you know, I gotta put the bulb in this one. But it's coming together. The next uh, sit down talking video is gonna be good. Hi, right, look. You should do a podcast with her. <laughs> Me and Scarlett's podcast. Yeah. Have you seen that podcast? The guy with the with the little girl that he does with. Like, yeah, 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 that's yeah. Cute. Yeah, I have. That's funny. She's not there yet. <laughs> one day. But one day. All right. So maybe we just picked up some takeout while I fed Scarlett. Um, we just got. Uh, it was from Fiore, a uh, little Italian restaurant. I got the chicken marsala. We got some bread. We got some soup over here. Maybe we got a. What was that chicken parmesan? No lasagna. Lasagna. So we'll have this. And then we're gonna watch Physical 100, the new Netflix show that we've both been watching and loving. We're on episode two. Let's do it. The five additional survivors, please come in. It's 8.12 in the evening right now, which means it is past my bedtime, my new dad bedtime. Uh, Mimi is feeding Scarlett right now. We're gonna go up and give Scarlett a little bath, 
and then it's just kind of hopefully get her to sleep within like two three hours but you just never know sometimes we get her sleep right away and we get a great like four hour chunk of sleep before we wake up and feed her again sometimes it takes until like 2 a.m till she falls asleep so but it's not because she's like bad at going to sleep it's just that like, we'll get her fed and then changed and then settled and then right as we're putting her down, she'll, like, poop or something. <laughs> yeah. And then you do the whole thing again and then it's been, like, an hour since you last fed her. And, and she then she refeeds. Go through the whole cycle again. Yeah, so, so I'm hoping it'd be fantastic yeah. for this off day if I could get, like, a solid, not a solid, if I could get an interrupted eight hours of sleep before the tomorrow. But we'll see. You just never know. It's a roll of the dice. Sometimes I'll get one and a half, two hours. Sometimes I'll get eight. But anyway, guys... I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the first vlog in Hartford and uh, hopefully more to come. I'm excited for the preseason trip down to Florida. Hopefully I can get some uh, good footage and, and videos for you guys from down there. But anyway, once again, guys, thank you for all the support. Thank you for everything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Peace.